Hello everyone. Let's understand this question. The position of a particle is given by r vector is equal to 3t i cap plus 2t square j cap plus 8k cap where t is in seconds and the coefficients have the proper units for r to be in meters. In part A, we need to find velocity and acceleration of the particle. In part B, we need to find the magnitude and direction of velocity and acceleration at t is equals to 1 second. So, first of all, let's write the given data. So, in this question, position of the particle is given as r vector is equal to 3t i cap plus 2t square j cap plus 8k cap. Now, first we find for part A, the velocity is given by v vector is equal to differentiation of position with respect to time. Now, substituting the value for position which is 3t i cap plus 2t square j cap plus 8k cap. Now, differentiation of 3t gives 3i cap plus differentiation of 2t square gives 4t j cap plus differentiation of 8 is 0. So, here we get the velocity is equals to 3i cap plus 4t j cap. This is the value for velocity. Now, we calculate the acceleration. So, acceleration is determined by a vector is equals to differentiation of velocity with respect to time. Now, substituting the value for velocity, which is 3i cap plus 4t j cap. Differentiation of 3 gives 0 plus differentiation of 4t gives 4 j cap. So here we get acceleration is equals to 4 j cap. This is the value for acceleration. Now move to the part b. For part b we need to find the magnitude and direction of velocity and acceleration at time t is equals to 1 second. So, as we already calculate, the velocity is v vector is equals to 3i cap plus 4t j cap. Now, if we put the value for t 1 second, we get 3i cap plus 4 multiply t is 1 j cap. So, here we get the velocity is equals to 3 i cap plus 4 j cap. Now, we calculate the magnitude of velocity which is equal to modulus of velocity is equal to v x square plus v y square. Now, substituting the values for v x and v y, here this velocity is in the form of v x i cap plus v y j cap. So, if we using the values of v x which is 3, we get 3 square plus v y is 4. So, 4 square. Now, solving this, we get 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16. So, here we get under root 25. So, magnitude of velocity will be equal to 5 meter per second. This is the value for magnitude of velocity. Now, next we find the direction. Direction of velocity. So, direction of velocity is given by the formula theta is equals to tan inverse vy divided by vx. Now, substituting the values, so vy is 
4 divided by Vx is 3. Now, after solving this, we get theta is equals to 53 degree with x axis. So, this is the value for direction of velocity. In part B, we also need to find the magnitude and direction of acceleration. So, the magnitude and direction of acceleration is given by as we already find the acceleration is a vector is equals to 4 j cap right so if we see here we get the magnitude of acceleration is 4 meter per second square. As we know, J cap represents the direction along Y axis, right? So, acceleration is 4 meter per second square along Y direction. So, here we get the magnitude and direction of acceleration. Hence, this is the required solution for this question. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos.